stuff is just like not attached at all. <laughs> Pretty much not attached at all. Paint stuck there. Well, I was just gonna stop here. But just might as well go all the way, huh? Maybe go to that stuff or. Um, I'm just trying to like not get too much stuff overwhelmed. Yeah. We like, get this done today. Yeah. Like, well, you could just stop right here too. Yeah. Maybe I'll just I'll cut it right there. Yeah, and we'll just continue on another day. Yeah. We got rain tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and get this deck sealed back up. Yeah. So we've. Uh, Spent the morning kind of grinding out what we were set, set out to grind here. Yeah, just yeah. finishing the prep work on the stuff. Took the die grinder, cupped out the outside of the hole here of the bulwark. So when we lay glass, it'll lay into that groove and get a good connection to the substrate there. Yep. Um, that way we can lay up several layers too, not just like a single overlapping layer and risk it cracking out. Yeah. yeah, and I know that we've said this before, but this deck isn't permanent. Um, this is gonna be replaced, so these are temporary measures just to get this the water intrusion that's coming through here uh, stopped, um, primarily for the work that we need to do in the fish hold. And uh, it'll also just help in the short term to to stop any water coming in. So, if you've been following along with us, you, you guys probably heard that about 10 times already. If, if you're new, that's the story there. Um, this deck is, is hosed underneath, or it will be within 10 years. So, so yeah. this will get us to where we need to be right now. As you saw over here, um, the old connection to the deck, the uh, Old laminate is not holding on very good. I think we've gone over that a couple times, but again, yeah, it's, it's just due to, I don't know, probably wax in the layup of the hole, but it's pretty interesting to go back and see what's, uh, what's going on here and what's happened. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an oddity. Um, It's hard to figure out if this is the original deck, if it's the second deck that's been on it. Don't know. Can't say. Yep. The boat's, uh, well, it's built in, uh, 78? 78. 78. I'm guessing it's probably had another deck put on it that time. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. So. You guys might notice our little air filter set up here yep. a couple of uh big air fans and on them we got a furnace filter strapped to the back so just pulling air in and filtering it out air scrubbers yep working pretty good yeah that stuff will be fairly easy to tap it out when it gets built up and uh just help keep some of the dust out of air it's built up pretty bad. So. Yeah, help it settle out a little faster, huh? Yeah. So yeah, it's going good today. Um, we'll probably start trying to get some stuff mixed up over here and going in. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, hoping to just get get the crack sealed and get at least one layer of mat on it. Um, then that'll our... seal it back up, and it'll be it'll be good. We're just gonna throw a big fat bead of uh, thickened putty with some uh, with some fibers in it. Uh, kind of turn it into some structural putty, and uh, just goop a bead of that in there, fill it out, and get a layer of mat down, and that'll be fine. Not mm -hmm. water proof it, and then we can we can add a little bit more to it later if, if we don't get that far today. That's really all we need to do. Yeah, that, that's the biggest goal today is to mm -hmm. get it sealed back up for the rain. So yeah, so yeah, we'll uh, carry on here. Uh, not too much more prep over here. I think uh, 
three scuppers to grind out with the die grinder and then we'll wipe stuff down, get it cleaned up and ready to put some some glass down. Yeah. Well, all the prep's done. Got all the scuppers and uh, sides here ground out. Um, I'm gonna wipe them down with some acetone real quick. Get the get some particulates off it. And meanwhile, I'll get some resin and putty mixed up, yep, and we'll start, start applying. Chugging this full, so yep. we're just burning up the last of this stuff. Um, when we order our fiberglass supplies, we actually have all our putty pre-mixed now, so that'll be a nice big time saver going forward on the rest of this project. But it will. We'll just use up the rest of what we have here. I think there's quite a bit there still. A decent bit, yeah. Yeah. Plenty for this job. Plenty for this, and we'll save the premix for for uh, for the rest of it. Yeah. So this is actually just old material, old resin that we've had um, from the fishtail. It's like a couple of years back now. Mm -hmm. Still fine. So did a good job, and uh, we got a couple other little spots that we need to cover up here too. So yeah, yeah I guess we'll get rolling, huh? Yeah, we'll get started here. some resin here uh, trying to remember the mixture I think it was uh, 20 to 10 20 to 10 yeah roughly 20 ounces 10 cc's of MEKP make sure you wear your glasses when you're messing with this stuff scissors. Yep. These are bad. Yep. Which way are we working from? Back forward. Alright guys. Going for a stiff peak like that. Don't want it falling into the gap here, so 
making it a little bit thicker than usual. Yeah, pretty big gap. Probably should have shot some foam in it, but figured we'd just pack a little bit of chopped strand in here instead. Ah. I don't know how well that will work. Well, just want to keep it from falling in on the putty. Give us something to push against to make it fill it. Feel like I'm corking a wood boat. <laughs> Weird.
He went that way. Mm hmm. By the dock. Yep. Yeah, it's just one of them. I don't know why. Come on, bird. Stop me. Spin spot, there I go. I should have known it was a seagull. So we finished our uh, deck glass project last night. Well, it's not finished, it's the first layer. Just the layer matting and got the crack sealed up. And it turned out pretty good by the looks of it. Haven't verified whether it stopped that leak in the hold or not yet, but we suspect that it did. Yeah, we'll find out. I'm gonna go down there and vacuum that stuff up again, and uh, if it's still leaking, it'd be coming from forward, but mm -hmm. I, I think that the, the deck has sloped enough right here that um, I don't think that that would run back. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully not. Go down and see you in a minute. Um, yeah. As you guys can see, it's uh, quite a mess up here. There's just grindings everywhere. So I think maybe the first order of operation for me is to get vacuumed up, get these tools cleaned and stuff like that. We need to start planning our back preparation area here for fabricating our panels and stuff like that, get it dried in and all yeah. that. And it's nice not touching everything and ending up with the powdery hand, so. Yep, we'll probably put a kind of a just a plastic screen across there and we have some insulation at home we're going to grab and and put it up against these walls and another layer of just some plastic or old tarps we have lots of both and kind of create a bit of a warm room back there where we can laminate everything up. We're going to be using foam core for our bulkheads and also our, our shaft alley covers so um, we can laminate that stuff up beforehand and then just trim it and install it. So we kind of need a, a good spot to do that in there. Be able to keep a little heat back in there easier than trying to heat this whole thing. And then uh, the fish hold should be pretty easy to keep warm down there. Yeah, so we got a little bit of electrical going on today. Um, we just have like this. We don't actually have a shore power hookup on this vessel right now. It's just wired up with the generator. The, at some point, I need to put in a transfer switch. For now, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna pull the breakers off the generator and isolate it from the shore power, so I don't have to worry about it back feeding into the generator head and damaging it. I just grabbed my old cord from home. This is just for our uh, for our welder for our little our little TIG welder. This will be plenty, plenty heavy enough to, to run into the engine room. I'll tie it into a breaker down there, and, and then we, we picked up the, the appropriate uh, plug for out here. So, so this will just allow us to take our uh, shore power cord, which is in this big mess right here. Um, this guy right here, we'll plug right into that. And I'm just gonna run this cord in and down an engine room into a breaker. Mm -hmm. Simple fix for now until I get a transfer switch hooked up. I've been looking for them. They're actually really expensive. And so there's a couple of different ways I can do it, but I'm kind of just looking at a manual transfer one that would be nice so we can just switch between um, the generator and the solar power. And the nice thing about that is that you don't have to worry about accidentally leaving one on and energizing the other and causing damage. So that's something that I gotta look into more. 
So, in the meantime, this is what we're doing and what we got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll work. Yep, just get it going for a project here and yeah. that'll be, that's the main idea. So we can clean up the wire, clean up these cords, get a couple of outlets run. Yeah, then we'll have all our outlets inside will work, our coffee machine, our microwave, all the important things. Yep. Lights in the engine room, lights in the cabin, all of that works without monkeying around with an extension cord. Um, also, these lights back here will be in the circuit then. Right now, they're, they're just off. We're not using them, so we'll have these back here for working. Well, this was going to something else. I guess some deck lights or something. Yeah, forward. a couple of deck lights. Yeah. So, uh, we'll come off this leg right here and just put an outlet right here so we can plug in some power tools back here. So, that's kind of, that's what we're doing. So. Um, hoping, hoping we can get this open. It's pretty crusty looking. I don't even know what we got here. Just slotted. Yep. I hear a crow up there, so that's a scratching above our heads. Yeah. <laughs> Little tests. They poked holes in our forward panels of our uh, shrink wrap up there. I had to patch them up yeah. twice, actually. The first time was just a little bit. The second time, kind uh, of been made a little minefield. Little troublemakers. Oh, that one just broke off. That'll work. I might just have to abandon this box too and just put up a new one. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. I'm guessing that this will just break off too, if I can even get on it. Yep. How much stuff do we got in here? Not too much corrosion. Yeah, I think we'll probably just pull this off and uh, and just put in a a new box. Mm -hmm. That's easiest. Mm -hmm. Put a plastic one out here with some drip tight connectors. Disruptive. Trying to film here. They are. <laughs> they like to drop muscles on the top of this this hay rack to break them. scurry around yeah so we'll get this rewired we'll get an outlet put on there yep start getting stuff cleaned up a bit yeah i'm uh, gonna suit up and start vacuuming i guess 